Welcome to the third day of my urban pilgrimage around the city of Berlin in this Holy Week. I'm now standing on Unter den Linden in the middle of Berlin and in the far distance you might be able to make out the Brandenburg Gate. But what we're really here for today is to look at what's housed in this particular building called the Neue Wache or the New Guards House. It is a striking building but what's housed in it is equally striking. It's basically the sculpture made by Katja Kollwitz in the 1930s and was moved here after the fall of the Berlin Wall. And here it is. We're very lucky to be here today because there's literally nobody else around. Now, what we see here is entitled The Mother and the Dead Son. And it reflects the personal tragedy that Kolvix experienced after losing her own son during the First World War. Some argue that it's modelled on Michelangelo's Pietà, the idea of the mother of the Son of God nursing her dead son in her lap at the foot of the cross. Now this is particularly about grief. It's about intense grief. It's about lonely, intense grief. Many people come here and they're stopped in their tracks. Something strikes a chord in them. Perhaps they have had a tragedy in their own lives that they reflect upon. And you come away very sobered. And the depth of the difficulty towards the end of this Holy Week is that we see tragedy and somehow or rather we have to overcome it. But we have to go through the tragedy and somehow see that there is light beyond it. A little bit like the light that surfaces on the crown of this mother's head coming from above.